Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making a creamy lemon garlic ravioli. A good friend of mine brought me some lemons from her tree the other day, and so I've been trying to use them up, and this is a perfect excuse for it. It's a wonderful pasta dish, one of my favorites. First, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel, and let's get cooking. Before we start, I should tell you that this creamy lemon garlic sauce that we'll be making can go on any type of pasta, fettuccine, linguine, penne, whatever. The reason I'm going with cheese ravioli is because back when I lived in Sacramento, there was this one restaurant called Piatti's. They made the best creamy lemon ravioli. So I went home and I tried to figure out how to make it. And I think I got pretty close. I love it anyway. Now, aside from the pasta, what you'll need is some olive oil, You'll need a couple of cups of heavy whipping cream, a couple of cloves of garlic. You'll need one lemon. We're going to be using both the zest and the juice. You'll need some grated Parmesan cheese, and this is about half a cup. I'm going to be garnishing with some fresh parsley, and then of course you'll need some salt to taste. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is zest my lemon. I'll be putting most of this in the sauce, but I like to save a little to sprinkle on top. And once the lemon is zested, just go ahead and cut and juice it. Be sure to take out any seeds that may have fallen in, and if you want to avoid the pulp, you can just run this all through a sieve. Now you want to get your water boiling along with some salt so that we can cook the pasta. And whatever the package directions say, I typically pull it out a little bit sooner because I want it cooked al dente. And by the way, I should tell you that in the coming weeks, I'll be showing you how to make homemade pasta because uh, Lord willing, I'm going to be visiting my best friend in Sacramento. She's married to an Italian and they make their own pasta. So I've already asked her if she would share some of her tips with us. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Next, in a separate large skillet over medium-high heat, coat the bottom of the pan with about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. When it's hot, go ahead and add the minced garlic and the lemon zest. You'll want to save just a little bit for garnish, but otherwise put in all the zest from the one lemon. The combination of lemon and garlic already smells amazing. Mix it quickly, then immediately pour in the heavy whipping cream and stir until everything is well combined. The water for the pasta has reached a boil, so I'll toss in the ravioli and then get right back to making the sauce. The next thing you'll want to add is the fresh lemon juice. The amount will depend on how lemony you want your pasta dish, so start with a little, give it a taste, and adjust if necessary. I like mine nice and lemony, so I used about a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. And I just continue to let it cook a few minutes while stirring. I'll check back in on the ravioli because it only takes a few minutes to get al dente and it's already time to take it out. Before you drain it, it's always a good idea to take out just a little of the pasta water in case you need to add a little liquid to the sauce later on. I'll set it aside and then drain the rest of the water from the pasta down the sink. Now back to the stove and I'll add the Parmesan cheese to the cream sauce. I'll season with salt and stir until it's all well combined. I'll add the drained raviolis into the saucepan and let them soak up all that creamy, lemony goodness. And finally, I'll toss in the chopped fresh parsley and stir. Now, I like the consistency like this, but if you like it a little more runny, that's when you would add that pasta water that you pulled out, but I don't think I'm gonna use this today. This is pretty much done. This dish comes together so quickly. We are ready to plate. This looks so good, and it's only going to look better when I Garnish with just a little more fresh parsley, some Parmesan cheese, and some extra lemon zest. Now 
tell me if this isn't Instagrammable. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, this ravioli is so good. It's creamy and it's got this bright citrusy flavor along with the garlic and of course the Parmesan cheese. It's all just really wonderful. Now, if you want, you can make this with chicken. It goes really well with this or with sausage. Either way, you're going to love it. So when life gives you lemons, you know what to make. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.